in Rappaport. The Jags are expected to sign uh, former quarterback Tim Tebow as a tight end. He hasn't played in the league since 2012. He was 8-6, and six, had a playoff win as well in Denver. Uh, but that was a while ago. And so now Tim Tebow, a part of the discussion in Jacksonville, joining Judy, Mark Ross, and James Palmer, who covered the Jags uh, throughout draft week in Jacksonville. Uh, James, there were a lot of discussions about the organizational vision. How do you think Tim Tebow fits into that? Well, standing inside the stadium on what Shad Khan, the owner, Patrick, told me was going to be an epic day for their organization with the number one pick of Trevor Lawrence, a new mindset with a new head coach in Urban Meyer, the news breaks of Tim Tebow, and that is all anyone was talking about in Jacksonville leading in to the draft where they had the number one pick. That is how popular he is in Jacksonville, his hometown. When the news broke of this workout, that's all the local television stations were really talking about. But it does go along with what you just said, the mindset and culture that Urban Meyer is trying to build there. Being there for a week, it was clear. He wants to create a winning culture with players that have won in the past, players that go above and beyond probably what they expect of themselves. They expect a higher level of type of performance from their players. That is what Tim Tebow has done throughout his entire, really, sports life. So it does fit in that context, obviously, in Urban Meyer's knowledge of him and their desperate need for a pass-catching tight end. But there are people in Jacksonville that I know are weary of Tim Tebow coming to this organization. Obviously, the circus that surrounds him, specifically in that city, and what it would bring into their locker room and around the organization as they're trying to build and change so much. Well, James, I was there with you in Jacksonville, and that's what struck me, too, is that he becomes the dominant story. Um, he is a local star, a local favorite. And when Tebow is going to be in training camp, if he makes it to training camp, then he's going to, to some degree, overshadow this new era with Trevor Lawrence. I think that's a real risk. Does he make the team? I don't know. It, it sure feels like a long shot. He's never played tight end. He's been out of the league for almost nine full years. Uh, this is a uh, enormous change for him. There's no question Urban Meyer has great fondness for Tim Tebow, the person. There's no question that he thinks he can be a positive influence on his team. But I, I do think you have to question um, how much of a shadow is he going to cast over the organization that is trying to start anew. And after being out of the league for so long, can he really influence uh, a locker room when he's going to be struggling just to make the roster himself? And in terms of that roster, uh, Mark Ross, I, just looking at the, the highlights of Tim Tebow that we've I've seen, Eric Decker, Cameron Wake, a lot of guys that aren't in the league. How, how do you evaluate a guy uh, that's been out of the league since 2012 playing baseball? What goes? How would you possibly start there? Well, Patrick, very simply, you know, as a front office and scouting staff, you always want to have the best players, no matter if it's your first round pick, your seventh round pick, you always want to have the best. And if a scout came to me and said, hey, look, we're going to sign this 33-year-old guy that has not played in nine years, and oh, by the way, he wasn't that great at the position he played, we're going to switch positions, you'd have to go full Cleo McDowell and say, son, if you want to keep working here, stay <laughs> off the drugs, because that is just not the way you build your team by bringing this in now if it's for us to sell tickets create an influence sure say that but for as, as far as a competitive standpoint there's absolutely no way that you can think that tim tebow can help your team on the field and that's where you need a strong general manager to go with a strong head coach to say look coach i know you have this personal relationship with tim tebow and what he did 15 20 years ago but right now we're trying to get better as a team we need to have this roster spot for a comp competitive person who's played football and really has a chance to make our team and help our football team. So as far as a, a, an evaluation standpoint, it's very simple, Patrick. This guy will not be able to contribute and help because he just doesn't fit any of the criteria that you would look for at this point to help your football team. And I think it's important to know something Tom Pelissero uh, highlighted when they first broke the story. Uh, 90 uh, man roster, a lot different than 53. It, 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 there is some time uh, to sort this out, but but for now, uh, looking for Tim Tebow uh, to be a Jacksonville Jaguar at some point, thanks to Mark, Judy, and James.